back to Biafra News Support, Biafra Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, your friends, lovers of freedom, people of goodwill, I bring you another news and update and a little clip of video or so here that I'm going to add it. I'm adding it because Biafra Prime Minister posted it himself. Not all the videos that I'm going to put up, but I'm going to put a little of the video, little clips here. So... Before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, kindly click the red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. So, dear friends, as I bring you this news, you don't need to miss it. And share it as you watch. Today being 15th September 2023, dear friend, Prime Minister updated dear friends with a video of our gallant main face-to-face -face combat with zoo terrorist uh, repentant Boko Haram's in the army. And he captioned it, he said, from the war front and the battle of the Biafra Liberation Army, the Biafra Liberation Army and the resistant fighters engaged the terrorist Nigeria Army fighters jet. Just a few minutes ago, our main target is to bring this jet down to stop, bomba to stop bombing Biafra civilians. Okay, this is for you to know that our gallant men are really fighting a serious war in Biafra land. Some of you never believe that the zoo terrorist uh, repentant Boko Haram's in the army bringing war to our doorsteps. Some of you don't believe it. Some of you think that we are chasing cloud. No, really? Are you people serious? Some of you even pretend not to see the videos of our people crying out how Nigerian government, uh, how Nigerian repentant Boko Haram's in the army and Nigerian government are bombing our people in Biafra land because if they are not being sent by the government, who are those sending them? Hopos or them? Or Eastern Flefus? They are all in this together. They are the ones telling them, oh, go and do as you please in Southeast. And if you tell you people, you people will think that, oh, we're just... Are you people not seeing the videos? We will defeat them. Come rain, come shine. Biafra must come. Biafra must come. Somebody said that the jet sounds like a like First World War fighter jet. <laughs> this is gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, our gallant men are giving them water, water. They're giving them water, water. The more they come to Biafra land, the more our gallant men gives them water, water. The Biafra Liberation Army will keep defending Biafra land, keep protecting our people in Biafra land. Biafra Liberation Army is a volunteer army that can never be defeated. That is one thing the enemies have failed to understand. They volunteer to defend their father's land, defend their father's land. And they volunteer to protect our people in Biafra land. The more you people come with your outdated fighter jet to bomb our people, the more you people go down. A call for referendum is not a call for war, but you people turned it and twisted it into a call for war. You people started bringing war to our doorsteps, trying to push us to the wall so that we retaliate, so that Britain will run off like a little baby to complain. They are the ones beating us. And if we start crying, they will run off and say, oh, they started it. But they have been killing us, bombarding our people, coming to Biafra land with their fighter jet, buying to Kano jet to kill Biafra. It's not that they are going to any war. And now that we said that we can no longer take it, they will start crying, calling us terrorists, calling us all sorts of names. They drive joy in seeing us being killed. They drive joy in seeing Nigerian uh, uh, terrorist army coming to Biafra land with the outdated jet, fighter jet, to bombard our people. But once our gallant men pick up the same arm they are holding to defend their father's land and protect our people, they start crying. But this is just the beginning. You people can continue killing us. You see this very struggle? We, won, we are not going to back down. We are not going to stop. Because there are... A lot of restless Biafrans, should I say more than 6 million restless Biafran spirit roaming around, waiting for Biafra to be restored so that they will have peace. And getting their peace is what we have been struggling all these years. And the more they struggle to put the spirit of those that have died already to rest, the more they kill more. And some gullible fellows and they flay fools. Some happy slaves want us to fold our hands in, <laughs> or put our hands in between our legs and do nothing while they continue bombarding our land and our people. 
while they continue invading our communities, storming our communities, burning houses, destroying properties, means of livelihood, shops, without us doing anything. Well, if you must know, we have taken our future into our own hands. We are no longer going to sit down and watch them troop into our land and kill our people, come to our land with their outdated fighter jet to bombard our people. It's no longer going to continue. The more they come, the more we bring them down. Once they fly around Biafra airspace, the more they go down. And the more they come to Biafra land, the more they die because they will not be able to go back. They lost nothing in Southeast. And they keep trooping into Southeast to look for what is not looking for them. They, no long, they don't only come to Biafra land to terrorize us. They still mount checkpoints and roadblocks everywhere in Biafra land from pillar to pole is starting from our people. The same people they are killing. The same people they are destroying their properties. The same people they are rendering homeless. God Imo State and account how many houses they have burned down in Imo State or they have raised down in Imo State. Go to all the states in Biafra land. And if we fight back, you will see some gullible, happy slaves, those that have decided to remain enslaved for the rest of their life, ranting and, uh, and, uh, and they're blabbing on social media. Like they are blind. They don't go to social media to see what is happening or how. These repentant Boko Rams, they gave uniform and uh, AK-47 are shooting the red bullet to our people's houses. Or they are not seeing their videos Demolition our people's uncompleted building with their armor tanks. Are they going to lie not to see those videos? Of course they have seen it. But as long as, oh, it's Igbos, the, the Nigerian army can do whatever they want to them. You will see some of them, Helen Nigeria army. Oh, our gallant men are dealing with them. And if you ask them, why, is the, why are they really doing this in Southeast? They will tell you because they want freedom. <laughs> Very funny. Very, very funny. You will be hailing Nigerian terrorist army. You are happy that those that have rendered people fatherless, motherless, some widow, widowers, those that drive joy in sucking your blood are being reintegrated into the army. Are they there to protect you or are they there to suck more blood? Some of you, some of you gullible fellows will not ask yourself these questions. Why is the government reintegrating terrorists that have killed a lot of people, thousands of people in Nigeria into the, into the security force or into the army? Who are they going to protect? What makes you think that those that drive joy in, 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 in sucking other people's blood will be able to protect the masses? You people will not ask yourself that question. But if they are being deployed to Southeast, you people will start clapping for them. And when we clap back at them, you people start ranting. <laughs> Funny people. <laughs> uh, gullible funny people well our gallant men will not stop dealing with them because like Biafra Prime Minister said this government is our government and Biafra land belongs to us the way the Northerners claim that the North belongs to them you can't come to the North and be selling alcohol but they benefit from the task <laughs> they benefit from the task but they don't want it to be, you know, sold in their land. Can you imagine that? The same way Biafra land belongs to us. They do whatever they please in the north. And want to come and do as they please in southeast. When we can do as we please in their land, is it possible? No, it's not. We own Biafra land. We decide what happens in Biafra land and what doesn't happen in Biafra land. You can't come all the way from the north or Savisa Forest because they gave you uniform and gun. You think you can do as you please in southeast. The way you are carrying the AK-47 is the same way our gallant men are carrying the same AK-47. You come to Biafra land to kill, they tell you that our people can no longer be killed. We ask for nothing but freedom, but you people brought war to our doorsteps. We're not going to fold our hands and watch you. You came to us, we didn't come to you. So whatever we give to you, you take it. Because if you're being asked to explain what you're doing in Southeast, what are you going to say? Oh, we are being, we, we are being told that they want to exit Nigeria. So they don't want them, the, the government don't want, to, want them to exit or pretend don't want it was to exit Nigeria. That is why we are being sent to Southeast to put fear in them, to kill as many as we can. Uh, so that when the referendum time comes, there will not be many. <laughs> uh, 
like I said, you people are funny. It's just that you people don't know how prepared we are. And you people have failed to ask questions. We are not playing. We have a goal. And that goal, we must achieve. Are you seeing this man's face? Or you go in our church? Have you seen? You people think he's a Hamadika that was telling you people all the time. No. Have you seen his face? Have you asked yourself why Obasan just started telling Nigerian government to dialogue with Simone, but the most dangerous person have taken over? Because he knew that Mazenam the Kano is not a military man. Again, won't be a military man. Uh -huh. He knew that. That is why when he heard that Simon Eba is a reserve soldier with all the distinct, all his uh, qualifications, he started crying. Dialogue with Simon Eba, the dangerous, the most dangerous person have taken over Biafra struggle. That is when they realized that they have really, really shot themselves in the leg. They thought, oh, after kidnapping them, they can nobody will talk about Biafra again. Do you know what Elohim did? Elohim picked somebody when Obi when Obi Agu. Somebody when Obi Nkuma. Obi Obi eh, eh, what should I call it? No, Zuma Rock is small. Because always military man. He understands the assignment. Water water continues. Water water promas. Water water activated. If you know again, I'm not washing her on now. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going You see them running across the mirror asking, where, where is the gunshot coming from? Some will be crying that their bullet. <laughs> Let's have finished. There is one video I watched. I was really, really cracked up. They were scared. It was one of the soldiers that were recording. But it seems that one wanted to notice, he stopped recording. They run across the mirror and be asking, you know, you know, they don't know they were gallant men. You know, I heard you from boy, a boy, and I'm what? And some of our people said, our gallant men should not go to the battlefield without two magazines. You people don't know how prepared we are. You come to Biafra land with your outdated fighter jet, like somebody said, that the fighter jet sound looks like. <laughs> What war two sound of fighter jet? They went to US to buy Tucano jet. And you ask them, what war are they going to fight? They can't tell you. They will tell you it's a, a IPOB. Nigeria I mean, would drive joy in coming to tell the whole public how they killed innocent people, tagging them ESN. And if you ask them, who are the ESN you people are boasting to kill or boasting their camp? They will tell you that ESN is a security outfit. Created by IPOB. To do what exactly? To flush out Fulani killer headsmen, but Fulani terrorist bandit headsmen. Occupying our forests and our bushes before now. Raping our old mothers. Butchering our people. The one that got me pissed off, like really, really angry, is the day I saw the video of our, our sister, mother, being raped by Fulani terrorist headsmen butchered in the farm i was really really upset yeah on a gum when that spirit he disappeared you might be a ball while i'm trying yeah oh yeah i see and now we're we're gonna walk on you now we're gonna we're gonna win and we're gonna walk on you know i'm gonna go to the car we'll look at that power because seeing that woman's hand another place that woman's leg another place some of our body parts another place i was really really upset seriously for you to see the atrocities the full and terrorist men were committing in Biafra land before now. They butchered that woman in the farm. And the Eastern governors did nothing. They never talked about it. They never said anything about it. None of them condemned it. And if we are fighting back, some of you will be asking us, why are we fighting back? Some of you will be telling us, why are we showing what we are doing? So it's only the Nigerian army that have the monopoly to come and tell you how they killed innocent people in Southeast, tagging them IPOB and ESN. What is our crime? What is IPOB's crime? What is, IP, what is ESN's crime? Protecting our old mothers and our people in our own land, in our own bushes? You people are insane. Really insane. Really, really. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. Our gallant men are dealing with the full and repentant Bukharans in the army coming to Biafra along with the outdated fighter jet to bomb our people. The more they come, the more they receive water, water. And it will continue until they are all flushed out from Biafra land. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section. May Elohim guide and protect our government and give them more strength and courage.
Ame Elohim never allowed be a fro land or allowed their blood drop the land of the rising sun. Bless our gallant, strong prime minister, the ambassador of peace, the good guy himself. Give him more courage and more strength. Genuine beer friends all over the world. He said, he said, he said, thank you all. Don't forget to share this very video. You can see we are challenging them. Shoot him. Their fighter jet don't come. They think so. Now they follow liberation army. And they're going to use the do part. They do, they do, they, they joke with. As all I have, pop, 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 p